Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Styles, and I am going to bring you a video to show you how to run iOS 5 Beta 7 on your iPhone 4, iPod 4 generation, the 3rd gen iPod, and the iPad 1. Now, I've installed iOS 5 on my iPhone, but I do not have a UDID, so... I'm going to show you how to set that up. A few things you're going to need are Red Snow to jailbreak, iPhone browser to hack, and iTunes 10.5 Beta 7. All the links will be in the description. Now just a quick note, if you're trying to install your iOS 5 that you download, and it will not work for you open up your computer file and go to C Windows System 32 the drivers tab and then ETC now inside this you're going to see a file that says host right there at the top first thing you do is drag it outside of your folder so that you have the original host file so you can replace it when you're done once that's finished you double click this and open it in notepad and once you open it it's going to look like this you're gonna have all kinds of stuff down here bunch of wording and then it's going to say for example you're going to highlight all of this and delete everything from for example down now once you've deleted all of that you're going to get one and it's going to look like this now once you run the program it's going to add this for you so this won't be there once you delete yours right here so that won't be there it'll just be everything at the top and that should clear up a few errors that you might have when trying to install iOS 5. Alright, so let's get down to it. First things first, um, I got it installed and I just booted up. And iTunes tells me we are unable to complete activation because I'm not part of the development program. Alright, no problem. We can deal with that. Drop it down. Take your iPhone, open it up, you're going to slide it open, set all your preferences. I'm going to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Now you need to have Wi-Fi for this process, so um, you just need to have it. Alright, now it's going to say activating the phone, and we are unable to complete, and then it's going to tell us the same thing. So first thing we're going to do is power down our phone and we're going to open up red snow now you already have to have your ISPW downloaded now it brings up this little welcome screen here red snow 9.8 beta 7 when it comes up it's gonna have a browse tab down at the bottom you're gonna go ahead and browse and you're going to find your firmware that you downloaded mine is this 5.09A5313E you're gonna double click that and it's going to say processing firmware now to get ahead of the game I'm gonna put my phone in DFU mode already if you don't know how to do it there will be steps 
in here to show you how to do it. I'm not going to run through them. I've done it enough times in other videos. Sorry. Alright, we heard it ding, so I know I'm in DFU mode. My ISPW has been identified. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom, click Next. It's going to run some processes. Now at this point it's going to jump to the next screen and here is where we tell it to install Cydia. Now this is a tether boot so you're always going to have to click this one. We're going to install Cydia, click next and this is where it shows you how to put your iPhone in DFU mode but since mine's already there it just skipped that process and starts running the next processes. Waiting for iPhone to reboot now once it starts doing that you're gonna get this little thing on here it's gonna be a download file once these processes finish now it says finished you can click finish and shut the program down and your phone's gonna run a bunch of code Once this runs and gets to a colorful animation screen, I'm going to pause the phone because it's going to take a few minutes for it to jailbreak, power down, and then reboot. Now this is going to be a multiple process. It's a little bit, but if you follow the directions like I tell you, everything will be good and you will not need a developer account to get iOS 5 on your phone. Now this screen right here is going to take a second so I'll be right back once the phone boots up it's going to make us run through the processes we did in the very beginning just like last time alright so now we have our iPhone screen we slide across select all of our preferences again you won't have to put your Wi-Fi password in and it's going to tell us unable to complete once again no problem we can fix this power the phone down yet again and put it back in DFU mode because now we are going to run the tethered boot of red snow alright once your phone is powered down go ahead and open red snow get back to this screen click browse find your restore software once again and wait for it to identify it's gonna find it really quickly and it's going to want you to put your phone in DFU mode again but I've already put mine in there so it's just going to jump to the next screen alright now that we get here instead of installing Cydia we're going to click just tether boot now and click next and it's going to jump past this one because I'm already in it so it's going to run its processes again and it's saying waiting for reboot now since we've done everything the way we were supposed to we get this nice little pineapple here on our phone now you know you've jailbroken your phone properly and we're just waiting for it to reboot and we'll do some more steps